So I'm looking around in Ultra Kill Code, right? And I notice this, right? There's a, a check if your Steam client is valid. And if not, then it just returns one. And then it checks if your Steam client ID is in this array. And if not, then it just returns one, otherwise it returns two. This is for fish sizes. So this, and, and you know what this array is? If I scroll down here, th this is the exact same array, by the way. There are two Steam IDs. And if I put it here, it's Peter. <laughs> Right? Then I copy this ID. And it's Hakita. <laughs> so, these two people are the ones that are able to get size 2 fish because for, that, for them, this fails because their Steam, is, Steam client is valid. And they are in the array, so this returns false as well. So it returns two. And that got me thinking. What if I edit the method and do this, right? I compile it and I just return two, like always. Let, let me let me see. L let me let me just save this. Oh, fuck, uh, save all. Okay, let, let me see what happens. Let me also remove the fish size display so I can see that it works. Um, Unity engine, there we go. Now it works. I save that. Please work, bro. It would be so fucking funny if it worked. Okay, let's see if the size display will be there. Okay, the size display is not there, which is indicating that our code works. Okay, please. No, <laughs> it didn't work. Still size, I'm still size one on the leaderboard. No. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you can see Peter and Hakita right there with their size too. Oh, that sucks. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it, it was quite fun. Um... At least we know it doesn't work now.